G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Busy, busy, busy. I've got to paint this wall. These old stairs are coming down, so I've got to get a second coat on this wall before they're replaced. I've still got to go for my run. Oh, I've still got to do the exercises for my Achilles. I've got to finish making this video, and this video is all about shoe rotation, guys, so stick around for that. And that's all before I go to work. Oh, and I almost forgot, if you stick around until the end of the video, I'm going to do an update on the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel version two. I've done 320 kilometers in this shoe now. So what's that, 200 miles? I better crack on. That's the first task done. Now to go and wash the brushes. Let's run. All right, tasks are done. Now let's talk about running shoes. How many shoes do you have in your running rotation? The reason I ask this is that I think I have a problem. I can't stop buying shoes. Another two pairs turned up on the doorstep this week from New Balance and it got me thinking. How many shoes are too many? Now I get the shoe rotation thing from an injury perspective and I wanna to touch on that a little later but when does having so many shoes that somebody looks at you and goes, I think you have a problem. Look, this hasn't always been a problem for me. I used to get by with two pairs and at the most three pairs of shoes. But in recent times, especially this year, my shoe stable has grown exponentially. So much so that I had to post a poll here on YouTube recently to survey runners about how many shoes they have in their rotation, just to see if there are others out there like me. If you haven't voted on that poll, go find it and leave your vote. I will update the results from time to time. Anyway, I offered up four choices in the poll. One pair, two to five pairs, six to nine pairs, and shock horror, 10 plus pairs. And the results, two to five pairs, 59%, six to nine pairs, 17%, only one pair, 16%, and 10 or more pairs, 7%. Now I buy all my own shoes, and I get that there's some runners, especially here on YouTube and other media platforms, that are offered shoes to review. And they can have dozens and dozens and dozens of shoes. But what about for the rest of us? And that's why I started the poll. I guess I was just curious. Okay, confession time. How many shoes do I have in my rotation? Let me see if I can remember. In the ASICS range, I've got the original versions of the Glide Ride, the Nova Blast, and the Evo Ride. The Evo Rides, I just can't get excited by. I just don't like them. And I've also got the Magic Speed. So that's four ASICS in New Balance. I've got the Beacon version three by two now, the Rebel version two by two now, the RC Elites one and two. So how many is that? Two, four, that's six, six in the New Balance. In the Hokers, I've got the Rincon 2s, I've got the Speed Goat 3, and I've got the Clifton 5s, which I still use from time to time. So that's another three. Then there's the lone Nike shoe, the Tempo Next Percent. These ones here. Is that 14 shoes? 4, 10, 13, 14 shoes. <laughs> And here's the thing, there's so many others out there that I really want to try as well. But 14 shoes already in a rotation? Is that a healthy habit, an addiction, or just normal? What do you think, guys? Let me know down in the comments. And I guess with that many shoes in the rotation, you really would have to think that they're being underused. But 
That doesn't seem to be the case. They all seem to find their way into their rotation at some stage. And I seem to build up the kilometers in them or the mileage in them really quickly. So I guess 14 isn't too many. So I guess by now you can gather that I enjoy new shoes, but who doesn't? That new shoe feeling when you first run in them, feeling like you can conquer the world. But there is a real reason why we rotate our shoes. And this is something that I've found as I've got deeper and deeper into my running journey. And look, and it's not to have them to sit on the shoe stand and look pretty. It's to keep your legs guessing from one run to the another. Different stack heights, profiles, the amount of cushion in each shoe and so on. And by switching shoes from day to day, we are limiting our risk of injury. If you run in the same shoe day in and day out, that means you're using the same muscles, the same tendons every run, every day. But if you switch up your shoes, you use different muscles, different tendons. Now, I was really intrigued on Instagram recently when someone posted results of a study and I can't remember where the study was conducted, but it found that multiple shoe wearers had a 39% lower risk of injury versus single shoe wearers. Now, in this study, there was 264 runners 116 did mileage in the same shoe, the rest used multiple shoes. Now, I guess you can speculate the results that the reduced injury risk could be attributed to the fact that the different shoes distribute the impact forces of running differently, thereby lessening the repetitive strain on any given tissue. Like having more structured shoes on longer runs and lighter, less structured shoes for speed work. Now, in this same study, it was reported that cross-training also helped to lower the incidence of injury. So maybe, guys, there is a message in there for all of us. But surely, overall, that has to mean more shoes is better, right? I'm off to Google my next pair of shoes once I'm done here. All right, so let's move on now to that uh, updated review of the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel V2s. Uh, now past 200 miles or 320 kilometers. In fact, I think, I'm, I think I'm at 233 miles, so 375 kilometers. And they are a bit grubby, but you know, I do turn to these shoes quite a lot because this so far is my favorite shoe of 2021. It's just magic to run in it. Feel like a kid in a candy store. It's just so much fun. But let's have a good look at it and look at the upper. It's still in great condition. Yeah, it's grubby, but you expect that with shoes that you run in quite a bit. No flaws there at all. It's even really holding its shape quite well. This is something that I'm a bit surprised in as well. Have a look at that. The amount of cushion still in that fuel cell foam showing no signs of breaking down after 200 miles or 375 kilometers and that is just um, something that was a little bit of a concern to me uh, early on in the piece through 100 mile or 160 kilometers i just felt that maybe it was starting to lose a little bit of that uh, that nice cushion or bounce but hasn't changed really in the next 100 miles or 160 kilometers there's still that good bounce there's still that good kickback when you're going through your gate so that's fantastic and it's just so comfortable to run in now i did mention at the 100 mile or the 160 kilometer review early on i also mentioned too that if you can see there there was just a little bit of wear that was showing through there i was concerned that that wear would continue and that maybe would probably shorten the lifespan of the shoe but it hasn't. Really, the next 100 miles, the shoe looks exactly the same on the outsole. Yeah, look, nothing sort of around the heel area. Probably wouldn't expect that because I'm more of a midfoot striker. Yeah, look, I'm really, really, really happy and really impressed that outsole is holding up really quite well. I run pretty much all on bitumen or footpaths with this shoe. It's getting a fair workout. Initially, I thought the mileage range might have been a little bit sort of suspect on this shoe, but now that I'm approaching 400 kilometers and well past that 200 mile stage, I think that there's still quite a lot to give in this shoe. And even if you have a real close look at that fuel cell foam there, 
It's showing no signs of compression. There's not even any creases. It's just a great all round shoe. Now I've used this shoe on everything from easy runs to long runs to speed sessions to uh, tempo runs. It's just a jack of all trades. Lots more to come in this shoe. Let me know if you've been running in the Rebel V2s. Let me know what your thoughts are about the shoe. Have you found that this outsole is wearing more than you expected or is actually surprising you? So there you go guys. That's the shoe rotation and the update on the Rebels V2. Until I see you next time, stay safe, happy running, and I'll catch you then. Uru.